Hey, and welcome to Dirty Lazy Girl, a podcast that offers realistic girlfriend support and problem solving for imperfect people. You don't have to be perfect to be successful. Every week, we'll give you unconventional, dirty, or lazy problem solving strategies. Let's get started. Welcome, listeners. Well, as you know, during the winter months, we know a lot of you will want to do some holiday baking. Or if you're like me, you'll want to bake holiday cookies and goodies year round. Baked goods like breads, muffin, coffee cake. Hello. Those are my personal favorites. <laughs> Mine too, Stephanie. But the problem is these treats, they can add up fast with all the empty calories. But yet you want to enjoy your holidays and have some of your, you know, your favorite pies and cakes and cookies. So <laughs> what can we do to try to reduce the amount of carbs but still have some of those favorites? Well, Tamara, I think I might have a solution for us. I have a low carb solution. Joining us today is Zach, the president of Tova Industries. Our listeners might recognize one of his products here in the iconic yellow box, Carb Quick. Welcome, Zach. Hello, Stephanie. Hello, Tamara. Hi, thank you for joining us. But can you tell our listeners a little bit about Carb Quick? Like, how can it help our listeners with holiday baking? Sure. So, a quick uh, history lesson about Carb Quick. We started formulating it back in the 90s. So, it's already 20 years when we, since we started. And uh, we decided to create a new way for carb, for low, for carb low, low carb or carb free products that is different than many other products that were being produced at the time. And our idea was that it has to be familiar in taste, easy to use and become part of your lifestyle, not something that you do just once in a while. And also to have, to have a familiar uh, performance to it that uh, is easy to use in baking and cooking. And everything in Carb Quick that we created is based on wheat. Uh, so the taste is familiar. It doesn't use things that people are not used to like soy and like other beans or other ingredients. And also it does not use any sugar alcohol. It's very high in fiber and very high in protein, which means it's good for you. And at the same time, you save the vast majority of carbs and you still get the same results. And we have a lot of people like Stephanie that have proven over the years how great it is in many recipes. And wow. we've, we've been producing the same exact formula for Carb Quick as well as its own sister product, Carbolose, which is more of a flour product, all these years without ever changing the formula. It's, it's still the same as it was then with the same famous yellow box. Well, I know a lot of our listeners love Carb Quick. It's very, very popular, I know, with the Dirty Lazy Keto crowd. Um, but a lot of folks are curious about what exactly is inside of it. So is there a secret ingredient inside that makes it so delicious? We want well, to know, since we have the president yeah. here, maybe you'll tell us. Well, you know, it's all in the vault uh, ne next, to, <laughs> next to the Coca-Cola formula. We do not disclose what's in it. I've had a lot of people ask for it. And as a matter of fact, some famous flower companies called us and said, can we get a secret how you do it? And we, we want to do it. Names that you all are familiar with. And we said no. But I'll tell you in general uh, that uh, it has a lot of good ingredients that are all listed uh, on the box. Uh, and a lot of them are rich in fiber, rich in protein. Uh, we extract the protein out of the wheat, leaving all the carbs behind. And we enrich it if, when it comes to carb quick with things like buttermilk and egg whites. Uh, and uh, we, we the rest of it is really... Uh, there are a few enzymes that we put in it that make it behave better as far as making a dough out of it or making a batter out of it and cooking with it and baking with it. Uh, but that's, it's really all made with basic known ingredients just in a way that we do it that's a little different. That's awesome. Um, did you develop Carb Quick Zach because you yourself are a low carb on a low carb diet? To some extent, yes, I, I'm a big believer in healthy lifestyle. Uh, and I, I follow a, actually a Mediterranean diet, which is naturally low in carbs by itself. And I love to eat bread. 
and bread is always a problem for people that try to get to minimize their carb uh, footprint. So uh, that was why we developed the, uh, uh, the approach that we did. Uh, the idea was back in the late 90s when we started to work on it, that uh, the Atkins diet at the time became very popular and followed later on by the keto diet and similar diets. And we sampled as a manufacturer of these products, we sampled a lot of the products that were out there and we just didn't care for their taste. It was the biggest part was the taste. They all gave you the right carb count, but they didn't taste or they didn't perform in a bakery environment or in our own lab the way we expected it to. And that's what brought us to develop Carb Quick. Well, initially we developed Carbolose, which is the main ingredient in Carb Quick and actually is available as a separate item to be purchased as well. Nice. Well, one of the reasons I think Carb Quick is so popular with folks on Keto, Zach, is I think it allows them to make, you know, goodies that they thought were like off limits, kind of like you said, like your carb footprint. I really like that expression. Well, was that your plan? Was that your intention? Yes. The intention was to create something that can w work in so many different recipes. And the way we tried it initially is we tried just to substitute flour and take out the sugar, take out everything that's really not so good for you and use it as, as a substitution. And if you look at the box that's just next to you, Stephanie, you'll see the three pictures of items and they kind of represent the gamut of what it can do, plus a whole lot more. So you have the pizza, which everybody told us, oh, I'm missing having pizza once in a while. Of course, the biscuits, the uh, simple biscuit that you can make just by adding water to the mix and the uh, pancakes and so many other thousands and thousands of recipes that are in your books and that are also available online and in Pinterest and YouTube, uh, where people are so creative in what they do. It just, I can't even, sometimes I can't even fathom how they come up with these crazy ideas uh, that to make what they can make with it, whether it's a sweet product, like a, uh, a tremendous brownie or a pretzel or a bagel or a, uh, another type of a cake, or just as using it as a breading and a coating and, and, and everything in between. You, but the idea was to make it as all-purpose as possible. Yeah, it truly is versatile because I think any recipe I've thought of that I want, there's one out there with Carb Quick. It's great. And so, Zach, do you eat Carb Quick yourself? And if you do, what tell our listeners what your favorite recipes are. I do. I do. My favorite is probably the pizza and the cheese biscuits. Okay. Those are probably – I'm more of a savory guy. Mm -hmm. Uh and as a matter of fact, we are actually right now these days working, finalizing on some cupcakes that, um, that are going to be mug cakes made in the microwave that it takes just 60 seconds to bake a, a, uh, a mug cake. And actually, we're going to end up launching it probably as its own separate item, uh, starting on Amazon soon. Uh, so th those are my favorites. But I got to share with you a quick family story about this. Actually, I have a couple of them, but I'll tell you the one that uh, so uh, a little while ago, before the pandemic, we were vacationing in Florida and meeting with our, my wife's cousins. And he, uh, he's a physician. Uh, actually, he was at one point the head of the American Medical Association, the head of the AMA. And we commented how great they looked. And he said, we, we are on this new diet and we discovered this new product that we didn't know about called Carquick. <laughs> and they didn't know that their their cousin is the one that actually. And I said, "Guess what? We are the ones making it." I uh, love that story. <laughs> nice. That's wonderful. Well, tell me, Zach, are these products intended for people to try to lose weight, or are you looking for a broader audience? I think we're looking for anybody that wants either to try or to, to add to their own a cycle of diets, a, a low carb item, whether it's just that alone or it's just helping them some of the time. Uh, we get so many comments from people that are not on a diet and they just love it. Uh, why not? If it's good for you, uh, it gives you, for example, I believe in getting a lot of fiber in your diet and it's not just me, the whole medical uh, community recommends having a lot more fiber. This product has a lot of oat fiber in it, which is good for you just by itself. Yeah. Uh, so I think it's good for people that are 
uh, recovery from certain ailments or are, are, are diabetics and are trying to limit their uh, insulin uh, reaction or if people that are following your uh, environment, which is being on it most of the time or all the time. Uh, so I think it fits a lot of these different profiles. As a matter of fact, one of our endorsers is a cardiologist who uh, is giving it to his recovery patients from cardiac issues because he's a strong believer that that is associated. Uh, many cardiac issues come from excess fat in your, uh, or excess uh, sugar uh, in your diet. And this product helps them a lot with that. Yeah, that's amazing. The oat flour, I would think, the oat product you were talking about is great for the heart, right? <laughs> it is great for, so yeah. they say, they yeah. say it's great for, you, for your heart and it's great for the, your cholesterol yeah. count and it's great for your digestive system. Yeah. yeah. Well, our listeners are mostly familiar with Carb Quick. Most of them are. But I'm wondering if you have any other low carb products you're developing that our listeners might want to try. So the one that's available right now, and we are actually relaunching it with a brand new packaging uh, very soon, is Carbolose. And Carbolose is intended really to replace just plain flour, like all-purpose flour or bread flour or cake flour, one for one. And we are finding that people that are a little better at baking, that know a little bit more about how to work with raw flour, prefer it over Carbolose because Carbolose already has many of the additional ingredients, as we mentioned earlier, like the buttermilk and the egg, and it's got some leavening in it and some uh, oil in it. Uh, Carbolose does not have any of those. It's just the pure flour part of the carpet. It's also a little bit less expensive to buy. Uh, and we, we have had it all along on several places online, including Amazon and including nutrition.com and some others. And we're now uh, we decided to kind of rebrand it and make it more of a user-friendly look. And it's coming out, uh, I would say, within the next month or so, it's going to be available to start with on Amazon. Wow, that's terrific. Well, I know a lot of our listeners who might want to try Carb Quick or Carbolose, I bet they're curious right now, Zach, where could they find it? And we have listeners here in the United States and also worldwide, if you have that information to share. I'm glad you asked. <laughs> so... As you know, Stephanie, we, we launched it initially about, I'd say, uh, almost 15 years ago, actually on Amazon. We were one of the first people to be on Amazon with the product uh, from very early on. And it's been a great, great channel for us. In the meantime, we've added many, many other outlets. So I'll tell you some of the, to your uh, viewers and listeners, some of the, our main ones. So the next biggest one we have is right now on Walmart, we created at Walmart's request, they came to us, requested it, a, a, a little smaller box. It's a two pound box instead of the three pound box. And it's now available in all Walmarts around the country, almost 5,000 of them, brick and mortar Walmarts. Uh, and the amount of reordering is just amazing. They reorder it fresh every week and every week we get a bigger order from them than the week prior. Uh, another place we recommend to go to get it, if you go online, is nutrition.com, uh, which carry a lot of uh, uh, nutritional-based products, and they are one of our greatest resellers. Uh, and there are lots and lots and lots of mom-and-pop stores. And actually, if you go on our website on uh, tovaindustries.com or carpway.com, there is a finder, a zip code locator. And if you put your zip code, it'll show you where are the near places to you where you can get it. We also have it internationally available right now in many countries. Uh, as I mentioned to you just before the uh, podcast, uh, we, we actually uh, are starting to negotiate now with Scandinavia. We, I know it's available on Amazon UK, uh, and I believe you may also be able to get it on Amazon Germany. Uh, we have several outlets in the Middle East that carry it. And as a matter of fact, we are launching a new partnership with the company in the UAE and United Arab Emirates that's going to package Carbolos under their own label with our permission. Uh, and they plan to sell it all over the Gulf states and the Arabian Peninsula. So, and it's available also in Canada uh, in the Canadian version, uh, both brick and mortar and online, and in some countries in South America like Chile and Argentina. And Argentina. 
That's amazing. It's everywhere. <laughs> so Zach, it's been such a pleasure having you today on the show. We've really enjoyed it. And Stephanie and I can't wait because right after our interview with you, we're going to break into our carb <laughs> quick boxes and start some holiday baking. And, um, and then we're going to share what we baked with our listeners. So thank you so much for starting off our holiday baking efforts. <laughs> It's been my pleasure. Please send us pictures and recipes if you want, all your listeners. Sometimes we'll pick what, with their permission and put it on the box or inside the box or on our website if, if we like it too. So please, please be creative with it. Well, thanks again for joining us today, Zach. We appreciate your support. Thank you, Stephanie, so much. And Tamara. Well, I'm curious how our listeners plan to use CarbQuick over the holidays. Tell us what you'd like to make by emailing me Stephanie at DirtyLazyKeto.com or through Facebook or Instagram at DirtyLazyKeto. Are you curious what our favorite ways are to use CarbQuick? <laughs> Stephanie and I have been busy in our kitchens with CarbQuick and we're going to show you what each of us made after this quick break. Well, Tamara, I have been using baking shortcuts like carb quick for almost a decade. And I'm gonna share a lot of my fast cooking hacks and recommended products in the new Dirty Lazy Keto No Time to Cook cookbook. It's coming out in January, 2021, but you can pre-order it now. Order your copy now to avoid it being sold out, which usually happens in January, let's face it. And don't forget, it's called the Dirty Lazy Keto No Time to Cook cookbook. Awesome. Okay, Steph, I was super busy while you were talking there. <laughs> Through the magic of television or podcasting or whatever, I made my recipe, which was chocolate chip cookies. Yay! Ooh, chocolate <laughs> chip cookies. Yes. Um, Can you I show was, that? I'm trying. Hang listening? on. Let me, there we are. Oh, okay. Can you see it? Oh, I'm I'm looking closely. Oh, those look good. Yeah, what they're so on good. A baking sheet. I know. Well, you know, are they fresh out of the oven? Were you? <laughs> Were you multitasking while we were interviewing? Yes. Beth? Yes, I was. I have an okay. oven in my office. <laughs> Are you going to taste one? I would like you to describe it. Oh my it gosh. I wish you could try it. Okay. The thing about these is they turn out yummier than I expected. That was the first thing. And I got, I just got this off the um, internet, this recipe. And um, it's really light, actually. It doesn't get real. You notice it's not real brown, like a normal cookie. That's the only kind of funky difference, but it's not offensive looking, right? <laughs> well, I'm sure it would depend on which type of cookie recipe, right? Because this isn't from his box, your your recipe. Mm -hmm. You found just, it like on Pinterest, I think you mentioned. I did, yeah. And okay. it's so, so good. It's light. This one uses Lily's mm -hmm. um, chocolate chips. You can use the dark ones. I use the semi-sweet ones. It's so good. I I, Rick, I, you know, he was talking about, Zach was saying he likes the more savory ones. I find that I don't like the savory ones as much. I like the sweet ones. Mm. So, but yeah, there's so many good recipes out there. So, but chocolate chip is like a comfort food for me. Yeah. That's so a that's good why standby. I made those. Especially yeah. for the holidays, right? Yeah. Well, what did, what did you do, Stephanie? <laughs> well, during the magic of television and podcasting, <laughs> while we were multitasking with Zach, I decided, I heard him mention about brownies. Mm. And chocolate is one of my husband's all-time favorite. So I'm holding up for our YouTube uh, viewers. I don't know if you can see, I'll come closer. Uh, uh, it looks like is, a real brownie. It is a real brownie. <laughs> and I actually got this recipe from the inside of the Carb Quick box. I ha if you have a Carb Quick box at home, um, when you open it up, there's more recipes inside. Oh, I didn't Isn't that know that. Isn't that sneaky? I know. Yeah. Isn't that fun? So yeah. I followed his uh, directions exactly. And then I warded off my family from eating them. And <laughs> I know, right? And they're delicious. They they rise just like a normal cake brownie would, like from, mm -hmm. you know, before. And they're very sweet and chocolatey. Ooh, how does it taste? Mm. <laughs> They're so good. <laughs> we <laughs> have chocolate all in my teeth for the next five minutes. We mm. could leave brownies and cookies for Santa. He'd have a healthy snack. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. yeah fantastic. I wonder. My, my kids did eat these yesterday. I don't know if your family ate your cookies. No, I wouldn't let them. Oh, you I was like, no, like, I need this away. for I back need this away. for pocket. So, but uh, so I'm gonna see what they think of it today. Mm-hmm. 
Well, my family you- had this at dinner last night for dessert and none of them knew the difference. My son was like, mom, since when are you making like desserts again? Like, are you back on carbs? And I said, no, no, I'm not. Thank you very much. <laughs> And then I told them about the podcast and they were so blown away because it tastes like the real thing. Yeah. It's amazing. It's like a godsend for keto, you know, especially the holidays because you, you do miss these, you know, brownies and cookies and muffins. Mm -hmm. That's a, that's the next thing I'm going to make is a muff is a cranberry muffin. (laughs) I think you're right. Yeah. They have say like having carb quick. And actually Zach is the one that told me this, like, especially when people are like trying to transition to a different lifestyle and cut carbs or just, you know, maybe they have diabetes or heart conditions or trying to eat healthier. Um, He feels like this is almost like a gateway product to eating healthier because you want to cut back on those things, you know, muffins and cookies and pizza may not be the best for you, but this is a way to kind of ease into like a different lifestyle with more vegetables. And what I also like that I learned from him that I didn't know was that it's actually it's got a lot of healthy stuff. Like he said, it's high fiber. It's got a good amount of protein and it's got this oat fiber, which we know is particularly good for heart disease. I mean, so it's, it's actually, so you're, bar- you're getting treats, but you're actually getting health with it. Cause a lot of diet, I mean, if you look at diet Coke and I drink diet Coke, so I'm just, you know, I'm not against it, but there's nothing redeeming about, right. I mean, yeah. It's right. not like you're getting like a boost of protein from no. a diet soda. <laughs> You're no. getting absolutely nothing. No, not a damn thing, but a little caffeine. No, and I think he, there he's really committed to making products that aren't just low carb. They're actually yeah. they have good health benefits. Like he mm-hmm. seemed really committed to that. So that's awesome. Yeah, he's great. And yeah. like I said, I've been recommending these products and using them myself. And in fact, in every Dirty Lazy Keto book, I recommend Carb Quick by name. And I've been yeah. doing that before. Um, my friendship with Zach began. So this is something yeah. I believe in. It's something I use and it's great to just have as a tool in your tool chest. Yeah, it's great. Well, the big message, Tamara, is that if you're planning on enjoying some low carb substitutes or maybe introducing this to your low carb um, holiday baked good um, extravaganza, give Carb Quick a try. It's affordable and it's an easy to use baking flour substitute that I recommend you keep in your pantry. And are you enjoying the Dirty Lazy Girl podcast? Show us your support by leaving a review. And here's how on your iPhone, you can select the purple podcast icon, use the search tool to type in Dirty Lazy Girl, click on the thumbnail, and then scroll down until you see ratings and reviews. And then you click on the stars and we are hoping you select five stars. And then if you wanna leave a comment, which we hope you do, you scroll down and select leave a review and then type it in and hit okay. And if you're on YouTube, welcome. We This is our newer format and we're having a great time on YouTube, <laughs> but subscribe to our channel. Give us a thumbs up, like, and leave some comments for us there. And we love your comments. We all, always are sharing them. And I have one here from Rebecca and it's short and sweet, but Rebecca says, your podcasts are so cool. I love how it's two friends chatting. So cool. (laughs) We think you're cool too, Rebecca. Yeah, very cool. (laughs) Happy holidays. Thanks for joining us for another episode of the Dirty Lazy Girl podcast. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on your notifications so you'll never miss a video. And we'll see you next week.